Well, new charges, no charges rather, for a former Memphis police officer at the Tyree Nichols traffic stop that led to his death. Yes, a significant development in the investigation. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy says Preston Hemphill will not face criminal charges in Nichols' death. Hemphill was the sixth officer named during Nichols' confrontation with police back in January that led to his death. The traffic stop caught on camera showed Nichols was tased, pepper sprayed, and beaten by Memphis police officers. These five other former MPD officers face several criminal charges in connection to Nichols' death, including second-degree murder. Stefan Reels joins us live from the Shelby County Justice Center. And Stefan, what's the DA's reason for not pressing charges against that former officer? Well, Rudy and Pepper, a lot of moving parts went into this decision. DA Mulroy says that President Hemphill has been very cooperative throughout their investigation and says that Hemphill is also eventually expected to testify in trial against the five former MPD officers. Video footage shows Preston Hemphill among the first Memphis police officers on the scene when Tyree Nichols was pulled over January 7th near Rains and Ross Road in Memphis. He deployed his taser and is seen chasing Nichols down the road. Actions Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy don't believe meet a criminal standard. We're not endorsing what happened, but we do not believe that criminal charges are appropriate. DA Mulroy also said because Hemphill wasn't present when other officers initially removed Nichols from his car, he had to make decisions with limited information in a matter of seconds. We realized that at the moment that Mr. Hemphill was trying to taser Mr. Nichols, Mr. Nichols was not fleeing towards the neighborhood, but was in fact heading towards an open car door of a police cruiser. And that had to, that had to bear weight on our uh, evaluation of his decision. The city of Memphis fired Hemphill from MPD for violating multiple departmental violations, but Hemphill remained involved in the ongoing DA's office probe. Mr. Hemphill was very cooperative throughout the investigation. Throughout that entire time, we consulted with the family of Tyree Nichols and their attorneys and kept them informed. Ben Crump, the attorney representing Nichols' family, told DA Mulroy that while the family supports Hemphill not being criminally charged, it is our deepest hope and expectation that justice will be served fully and that all who had a role in this senseless tragedy will be held accountable. DA Mulroy also spoke on the MFD officers who were also present at the site after Tyree Nichols' beating, says that investigation is still ongoing. And as for the MPD officers who were also present after the beating took place, he said that they are not contemplating criminal charges. Live in downtown Memphis, I'm Stefan Reels.